Hi, today I'm going to show you how to uh, take knots out of hair. So this is specific to uh, mannequin. As you can see, one side is way knottier than the other. So this can happen uh, for many reasons. If you're washing mannequins with water that is too cold or water that is too hot, or you are using too much friction, either when you're washing it or when you're towel drying. Um, so for instructions on how to wash your mannequin properly, watch my other video about how to wash a mannequin. Um, but let's say this happens, um, you accidentally wash it too quickly, you didn't follow the manufacturer's directions, um, and this is what happens, then I'm going to show you how to take knots out of your hair. So this is the same technique I use when I'm working in the salon and I have somebody with really knotty hair. I don't want to damage the hair. So the same thing goes for uh, when working on the mannequin. So this side is when it's washed properly and uh, brushed properly. Um, it's still a little bit frizzy, but you can see that it's a lot smoother. Um, this side, even after I take all the knots out, is going to look um, way frizzier than this side. And at that point, I'll have to either style it, blow dry it, or rewash and comb it properly. Um, so now I'm going to show you the technique used. Uh, this is good for you to use at home. Um, if you are constantly teasing your hair or doing um, updos and styles like that, then this is how you can take out those knots and mats without damaging the hair. This is the best tool that you can use for taking knots out of the hair. The reason being because of this pick right here. Anytime a student in my class has matted their mannequin, I usually end up doing one side while they do the other and I always end up being quicker and with a lot less damage. And I'm gonna show you why in a second. So often when people do their own hair and they have knots in their hair, they just tend to go right in and try to comb out the knots. That's the wrong thing to do. I don't know if you can see that there, but you can see that hair is wrapped all between the teeth of the comb. So that's gonna damage it. This mannequin here is dry now. If your hair is too damaged or too matted and it's too hard to get out when it's wet, let your mannequin dry. The reason why is because hair is way more elastic when it is wet and breakage can happen a lot easier. So when it gets to too much mats, you just wanna walk away, let it dry, and then go through uh, when, it's, uh, when it's all dry. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start from the bottom and you're gonna work your way up, just like how you brush your hair, right? So when I'm using just the pick, it's not wrapping around anything. So it comes out a lot easier. Now, what happens if you end up with a knot? At this point, I'll just put the uh, tip of the comb into that knot and just go through. So I'm gonna show you how all of these knots are gonna come out really quickly. See how it kind of worked just my way up to the scalp and I even go right against the scalp and kind of go through. Anytime I get some resistance like this, I stop immediately and I just go lower and then get that knot out. Some knots can be really, really, really strong. And in which case you just need to be careful, get from the bottom and go through it. Be patient. And there you go, all of the knots are out. So at this point, as you can see, her hair is very, very frizzy. So I would need to style it to get it nice and smooth, um, which she needs to be styled anyway. But. Hopefully this is um, helpful for you. As I said, just your trusty tail comb is the best tool for getting out any knots. It doesn't matter how stubborn or how big those knots are. If you're patient, you start from the bottom, work your way to the top. You should be able to get them out with minimal to no damage to the hair. I hope you found this video helpful and until next time.